evaluate limit of the function x cubed minus 8 divided by x square minus 3x plus 2 as x approaches 2. Now following our technique what we will do is we first substitute the value x equals to 2 and see what do we get. So if I substitute 2 here for x I get 2 cube minus 8 over 2 square minus 3 times 2 plus 2 right. Now 2 cube is 8 and 8 minus 8 is 0 right. Now here 2 square is 4 3 times 2 is minus 6 and then we have plus 2 here. So 4 minus 6 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is also 0. So we get a form 0 over 0. So it is indeterminate form. Why? Because when we are trying to substitute the limiting value we get 0 over 0. So that gives us that gives us a form which we call indeterminate form. Right? 0 over 0 is mathematically meaningless. It does not have, it is not defined in mathematics, right? So we know that the value of the function does not exist as x approaches 2. So x is not equal to 2, right? Now 0 over 0 indicates that x minus 2 is a factor of numerator because we got 0 there and x minus 2 should be a factor of denominator also. Now we'll simplify using factoring to isolate those factors and then simplify and get the limiting value, right? So that is a strategy. So let's start working on it. So we get limit x approaches 2 and the function is x cubed minus 8 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now numerator is x cubed minus 2 cubed, right? 8 is 2 cubed. So we can factor it using difference of cubes formula, right? So we get x minus 2 times x square plus ab, which is 2x, plus 2 square, which is 4. Now, denominator, we can use product and sum, right? I hope you remember. Product should be 2. So we are looking for two numbers whose product pq is 2 and sum has to be minus 3. So p plus q should be minus 3. Now the two numbers which will give us 2 and minus 3 are minus 2 and minus 1. So when we multiply minus 2 and minus 1 we get 2 but when we add them we get minus 3. So we can factor denominator by using these two numbers x plus 2 rather sorry x minus 2 and x minus 1 so that factors right you can always check so that is what we get and as we were expecting we do get x minus 2 as a factor in both numerator and denominator correct so these can be cancelled we have to write limit don't forget to write limit x approaches 2 or the limit limiting value in each of these expressions okay that is most important so now we get a simplified form after cancelling the common factors which is x square plus 2x plus 4 in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator and now we can apply the laws of limits and substitute the value of x equals to 2 to find the limit of this function. So we get 2 square which is 4, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 1, right? 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get 12 as our answers, right? So what we did here was we substituted x equals to 2. Let me write it here again. So we get 2 square plus 2 times 2 plus 4 and in the denominator we substituted 2 we got 2 minus 1, correct? Now these are the initial examples and therefore I am trying to show you all these steps. So in later videos you may find me skipping these steps and moving forward, okay? So because by that time I think you will get used to all these steps, correct? So we get the limit of the function as 12, right? So that is our answer. So our answer is 12. It is to be noted that function is not defined at x equals to 2 
but it has a limit, right? So at x equals to 2, basically, we have a whole, right? So make a note that function may not be defined, but it can still have limit at that point. So limit is not the value of function at that point. Limit is what the function is approaching as we approach that point, right? 